What's up guys? Carrie figured out how to do this cool thing with my camera. I wish I could take a picture it's of like it. It's like a spider on the side. It looks like a spider. It's got these, it's like a tripod that's also bendable. Yeah. So she, she like did this spider thing and like hooked a, it onto, clawed it onto this claw, yeah. railing. It was really cool. I was like, should we zoom in more or zoom in less? Let's not zoom in too She's much. like, this is like perfect. <laughs> um, so Carrie and I did a video a while ago uh, in my car and I was driving and it was about just some of the things she's had to deal with like just being a woman living in the city specifically I would say it'd yeah. be anywhere but the city I have to deal with stuff it just as a person trying to live my life like being in the city it's a lot a lot different I think being a yeah. woman um, and there's there's levels of like trust I mean if you're if you try to be a nice person all the time and that's one thing I feel like yeah. a lot of people struggle with is being very, you know, what's what's the word I'm thinking of? Well, we, you're trying to be like a nice person. Yeah, and, and you be friendly are, while you're in the city because people will come up to you, they'll ask for money and stuff, and you're like, okay, and then you go to the next block, and there's another person asking for money. You're like, oh my god, like I can't keep giving money to yeah. each person on each block, you know. But see, that's some of the stuff that you know, just everybody deals with in the city. But her. Carrie will get like cat called by like been people. Harassed a She's lot. been harassed. Um, Mom, <laughs> Mom, we're making a video. Um, yeah, no, it's all right. One we'll, of we'll tell you afterwards. Things is, I took on you know self defense for a while because I've been grabbed, I've been flashed, I've been um, hummed at, I've been you know you you never know what what you're gonna every day holds a new surprise downtown because um, you'll get. A new surprise. A new surprise, <laughs> like a new. Um, well, does when does this happen to you when you're taking the L? It doesn't or? matter. It doesn't matter the time of day. It just random, random times. In fact, when I was when I got flashed first first three weeks of school. The or, first time she got flashed because this first is time it was yeah. eight o'clock in the morning and I was walking my dog and um, you know it was very casual and very. I was just walking my dog. Run the mill, know, run the so, mill, just you know, just yeah, taking and I, dog out. I'm a five foot three girl, so obviously I don't look old. Like I, you know, I look young, and that that in itself, like it happened three times in my first few weeks of school, so I, I was shocked. Um, was it the same dude who like whipped out his? Yeah, it was girl? the same guy, and then finally I got a notification on my phone saying that he got arrested. Um, but Family. I. The third time, I kind of knew. I was like, "Oh God, here comes this guy who's gonna, he's gonna pretend to. I don't know. He just he looked like a regular guy, um, and I didn't recognize him like the second time because he wore a hat. But yeah, long story short, it doesn't matter the time of day. It doesn't matter how old you look, um, how, how young you look. In fact, there there's predators out there, and you gotta be prepared and. Um, you have pepper spray and stuff? I have pepper spray. Have you used it? Never yeah. used it. And in fact, God, I if I was a girl, I'd be like, just spray everybody. I don't. <laughs> like, get away from me. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I don't really even know how to use it. I'm like, I'm thinking, you know, the, the one time I was actually grabbed on my shoulders, I didn't think at all to pull out my pepper spray. All I thought was run. Like, right, and, which is good. Yeah, still. so there's, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of things you can do. I just... You know, and I only took on um, self-defense for a little bit. It was during the winter, and it was hard to... No, it's okay. She sees a squirrel or something. Get down there, but uh, I definitely think that it's something that young women should should get into. Cause, totally. You know, and it's not about, like, whipping the dude, you know, and breaking both his legs. It's really just about, like... Getting, like, getting away from the situation. And you know feeling I mean? more prepared. Definitely yeah, right. Feeling more prepared when, you know, if you're in a situation. Or even if you, like, you know, you never know. You're out in a bar and someone slips something in your drink or tries to, you know. I, I actually one time got into the wrong Uber. Actually, no, it wasn't even an Uber. It was just a car. <laughs> I thought it was an Uber. And then halfway through the drive, he asked me to get a drink. And then... I come to find out, I was like, Are you, you know, can you just drive me home? He's like, oh, I don't know where you live. And I'm like, could you follow the GPS? And he's like, I'm not an Uber. And it freaked me out. I was like, you know what? Okay, just, I, 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 I almost remember you telling me the story. I think one of my friends had a similar situation. I think yeah. I remember another yeah. friend. So, so basically, Carrie evaded 
death because what did this guy was a creepo, but he turned out to be not as creepy because at least he dropped you off. Yeah, he he eventually dropped me off. Did you ever think of just getting out of his car? I I, I um we were getting close this to happened to a friend area. of mine. So so yeah, yeah no I was like yeah. you know what I'll just get out of the car. He's like oh it's fine I can drop you off and that was on St. Patrick's Day so. Oh. I was a little see at the So time. he was just a dude who let you he, in his car, he basically. Pretty much saw a girl vulnerable and oh my God. alone. Which was stupid of me. I should have, you know. But you never know. Those are stupid. Well with Uber you have to check the license plate and all that stuff. Yeah. I mean I get into the wrong Uber and it's not a big deal because I'm usually bigger than the dude. Exactly. You know what I mean? I mean it could still be dangerous, you know what I mean? Yeah. But like I got in the wrong Uber and we were driving to another person's location and then we figured out, oops, like my Uber gave me a call and he was like, you got in the wrong Uber and I was like, oh, okay. But in your instance, it wasn't even, wasn't it, even an it was Uber. just a dude. It wasn't crazy. even an Uber. And that's, that's one thing. And another thing is putting on your earphones. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend wearing earphones, like headphones, headsets at night. Um, <laughs> Cause that's when I got grabbed. <laughs> that's I, you know, you learn the hard way. Like I, I, I was walking home from, you know, I, uh, Walgreens, and I just wanted to get some ice cream. And um, so you just wanted to get some ice cream. I just want to get some ice cream, but instead I. Uh, you got grabbed. I got grabbed by a man, and there was two other people with him, two men with him too, and they were like stumbling drunk, and um, I, I ended up having to like pull my body in like a full. 360 and get out, but, but, um, yeah, it's a tough world out there. Well, you know, I mean, the basic gist is, as a woman, what be are Be aware. Yeah, just be aware. Be it aware. Don't wear headsets at night, or just, you know, if you're going to wear headsets, just wear one. Right. Um, again, just be aware, and, you know, if you can prepare yourself as much as possible, I would recommend that. Just feeling a little bit safer every day and, um, you know. And maybe just like traveling at like better times too. Yeah. Because I don't, I hate traveling. And when it's after 10, I'm like, oh God, like here we yeah. go. You know what I mean? Because that's, that's tendency. That's, that's kind of when like stuff gets a little bit more um, sketch. And if you know you're I mean? yeah. drinking with your friends, Make sure that your friend knows when you're going in the Uber and when you're leaving at least one. Yeah. Because um, <laughs> in my case, my you know I, I I ended up telling them my friends when I was in the random guy's car. Um, I was like, wait a second, guys, this isn't an Uber, and they were freaking out. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, good. I got some friends freaking out just in case this guy tries to kidnap me. At least someone knows. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, that so. and. And I mean, public transportation, you can still take it, but like, I'm just saying, like, after certain hours, I feel like it's better to just take Uber, to <laughs> spend the money. Like, yeah, what, definitely. Do you know what I mean? And I know, like, it's a kind of a cool thing that it's even available, you mm -hmm. know, because a few years ago, it wasn't. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I had a lot of fun. Be safe. Be safe. Don't wear your phones at night. Don't wear your phones at night. Check your Ubers. Check your Ubers. And don't get in random cars. And don't get in random cars. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Ivy. Hi.